Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's News Roundup. The Liberal government's policies have been increasingly scrutinized for their impact on crucial sectors of the economy, particularly builders and farmers. In recent years, these policies have raised significant concerns about their effectiveness and unintended consequences. The strains on the construction and agricultural sectors have led to a worrying housing shortage and food crisis in the country. But before we dive deeper into the details, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content and updates on important issues. Builders across the nation are facing an uphill battle. The introduction of new regulations and taxes specifically targeting the construction industry has created a challenging environment. Building permits and project approvals now face lengthy delays, making it difficult for builders to proceed with new housing projects. These complications are stifling growth and deterring investment in the construction sector. Mr. Speaker, the member mentions welders. Welders incorporate. They start small businesses, welding businesses that build things, welding products that go into apartment complexes in which people live. So when the member taxes the small businesses that help us build the housing, they not, she not only kills jobs for those welders, she actually kills housing when we are right. in a housing shortage. How could the minister possibly think it's a good idea to tax home building in a housing crisis? Crisis and farmers in a food crisis. Moreover, the increased regulatory burden has not only slowed down the construction process, but has also escalated costs. Builders are finding it harder to balance budgets and meet deadlines, which contributes to fewer housing units being available in the market. Consequently, the scarcity of homes is pushing up housing prices and making affordable housing a distant dream for many Canadians. Farmers are also bearing the brunt of the government's policies. The introduction of the carbon tax and restrictions on fertilizers has significantly increased production costs. These policies intended to address environmental issues have inadvertently amplified the financial strain on farmers. Additionally, supply chain disruptions have made it increasingly difficult for farmers to access the necessary agricultural inputs. This challenge is not only affecting production, but also exacerbating the already volatile pricing of staple foods. As farmers grapple with these issues, the repercussions are felt throughout the food supply chain, leading to food shortages and higher grocery bills for consumers. The combined effect of these policies is dire. Housing prices and rental costs are rising rapidly, putting immense pressure on citizens looking for affordable accommodations. At the same time, the food shortages are driving up grocery bills, making it difficult for families to manage their daily expenses. These economic pressures are straining household budgets and exacerbating the financial challenges faced by many Canadians. Also discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our Conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. Mr. Speaker, well, for one thing, the Conservative leader should get his facts straight. Of course, what we are talking about is a two-thirds inclusion rate, not a two-thirds tax rate. But he never bothers to actually get his numbers straight. What he also doesn't bother to do is to actually stand on the side of working people. He has been faking his support for workers, but yesterday workers learned where he really stands, and that is not with them. The construction industry is grappling with a slew of new regulations and taxes imposed by the Liberal government. These policies are designed to address various issues, including environmental concerns and labor practices. However, they create significant challenges for builders. Heightened compliance requirements builders must now navigate complex regulatory frameworks that demand meticulous adherence to environmental and safety standards. Escalating costs, new taxes specifically targeting construction activities increase the cost of building materials and labor, impacting the overall expense of construction projects. These regulations often require extensive documentation and frequent inspections, adding to the administrative burden. Builders have expressed their frustration with the bureaucratic red tape, which not only increases costs, but also delays project timelines. Another major issue facing builders is the prolonged process of obtaining approvals and permits for new housing projects. The Liberal government's tight control over urban planning and development has resulted in an overloaded and slow-moving permit approval system. 
Backlog permit offices, local and federal offices responsible for processing permits are overwhelmed, causing significant delays in housing projects. Uncertain project timelines, builders often face unpredictable and extended waiting periods, making it difficult to plan and execute projects efficiently. According to a recent statement from a prominent construction industry representative, the average time to get permits approved has doubled in the past five years. This escalation in approval times discourages investment and hinders the timely completion of much needed housing units. But what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this important conversation going. Also take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. The current mounting pressures on farmers stem from a series of policies introduced by the Liberal government. Chief among these are the increased costs due to the carbon tax and fertilizer restrictions. The carbon tax, intended to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, has inadvertently added a significant financial burden on farmers who rely on fuel for their operations. This tax increases operational costs, subsequently leading to higher prices for agricultural products. Moreover, fertilizer restrictions have compounded these challenges. Farmers are now grappling with the dual issue of limited fertilizer availability and soaring costs. These restrictions aimed at reducing environmental impacts have forced farmers to adjust their practices. However, the lack of alternative cost-effective solutions means that the additional cost cannot simply be absorbed, placing further strain on an already burdened sector. Another blow to farmers comes from persistent supply chain disruptions, which have had a ripple effect on the availability and cost of agricultural inputs. These disruptions span various stages from the production to the distribution of essential farming equipment and supplies. Issues in global trade, transportation delays, and logistical bottlenecks have led to a scarcity of crucial agricultural inputs ranging from seeds and fertilizers to machinery parts. The pandemic exacerbated these issues, but ongoing policy decisions play a significant role in the current predicament. The ripple effect of these disruptions sees delays in planting, reduced crop yields, and inflated operational costs. The compounded effect of increased fuel prices and limited access to essentials further stifles the agricultural sector's ability to function efficiently and cost-effectively. And the direct consequences of these policies on farmers can't be overstated, but the ripple effects reach far beyond the fields. With rising operational costs, farmers are forced to pass these expenses onto consumers. This transfer manifests in higher grocery bills contributing to a national food crisis. Households across the country are feeling the impact as food prices climb, placing financial strain on consumers and exacerbating economic inequalities. Indeed, as farmers struggle to maintain productivity amidst these challenges, the broader economic stability becomes jeopardized. The agricultural sector, a cornerstone of the economy, requires policies that support rather than hinder its ability to thrive. The liberal government's policies, while perhaps well-intentioned, have made life significantly harder for farmers. Increased costs from the carbon tax and fertilizer restrictions, alongside severe supply chain disruptions, have led to higher operational expenses and supply shortages. These issues translate directly to higher food prices for consumers and threaten the stability of the agriculture sector. For resilient food supply and a stable agricultural economy, there is a pressing need to reevaluate and amend these policies to support rather than undermine farmers. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it informative. Your engagement helps us continue creating content that explores important issues facing Canada today. For more updates, visit scoopcanada.com.